No one has an evil destiny. No one has a materialistic destiny. We all have one destiny, and that is to serve. That one destiny takes millions of forms, depending on our own personalities and beliefs, etc. But we all have that one destiny. A lot of people talk about, uh, you know, this is what I was meant to do in this life, or this is my purpose, or I'm, I'm not... I've not found my purpose, and so I feel I feel very empty or unfulfilled. Um, how much of, of of all of our purpose is really what you've just described, which is to be of the greatest service that we can be? Um, it's everyone's purpose, every single person on earth. This is why we're here. This is what we're meant to do. This is what will bring the world peace, freedom, and joy to each and every one of us. Um, it takes many forms. Everyone will serve slightly differently if they choose the path of service. Um, and that doesn't really matter. Diversity is to be celebrated, providing uh, the general direction of it is towards helping to raise all life on earth rather than to bring it down or to just do nothing. If you lived on a planet where the only goal of every single person on that planet was to serve God uh, and to help the lower aspects of God to evolve, you'd have one mandate. You'd have no conflict. You maybe have different ideas about how to go about it, but there would be complete harmony if that is your one and only motive. You wouldn't have wars. You wouldn't have boundaries. You certainly wouldn't be building walls between countries. You wouldn't have nuclear weapons. You wouldn't have poverty. You wouldn't have greed. And I would go further and say you wouldn't have sickness either. Um, because in a world where everyone was selfless and everyone was working in harmony, there would be no uh, karmic necessity for illness. I think in one way um, the same lesson applies to us each as individuals. I mean if, if that was our single mandate in our life as an individual I think um, it would completely transform our experience that we would have. Very true. I would just like to say that anyone who is looking for their purpose in life and rejects the notion that service has to be at the heart of that purpose will not find it. That might, you know, make me unpopular, um, but it has to be so. You, 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 you cannot, it's like, um, let me try and think of an analogy. I mean, it's like trying to find food because you need food to survive, but then refusing to eat it. Mm. Um, and this is a problem that a lot of people have, I think, with their quest, is they say they're looking for their life's purpose. They say they're looking for wisdom, but they're not. They're looking for a way to have their cake and eat it, so they think. They're looking for a way to be materialistic and, in inverted commas, spiritual as well. They're looking for a way to be rich and selfish and do nothing or virtually nothing to help others and still ascend or some such right. nonsense. Right. It's not possible and nor should it be. I think, you know, rather than bemoan the fact that it's not possible, we should be really glad. Yeah. Because what would the spiritual path be worth if that's all it was? Yeah.